I stumbled across this scene and I think it about sums up Townie AI. You see, Sims 4 Townie AI is perfect but tragic at the exact same time. I mean tragic in a good way. I love how bad Sims 4 Townie AI is. I remember when the game was first revealed, all they kept going on about in their marketing campaigns were Sims were smarter than ever before. They're not smarter, they can multitask, which is very useful, but they're a bit dumber, but in a good way. A sad beige room for your sad beige kids. <laughs> The funny thing is though, like whenever we build houses in The Sims 4, we always make perfect rooms. Everything's laid out perfectly. Everything has a lovely color scheme. But in reality, like real life kids bedrooms are horrific. They're not designed nicely. There's toys all over the floor. You can't walk anywhere. There's a mess. The walls and floors aren't beautiful. There's no paintings anywhere. But in The Sims, we make them all perfect and beige. I always do it when I make like a proper modern house and everything's like white and gray. And so is the kids room. And it's just so bland. Like you put a big teddy in the corner like they did here just to show that it is technically a kid's room but like it doesn't look anything like a kid's room. EA is here in cash registers. Sims 3 generations. Sims 4 parenthood toddler stuff, kids room stuff, high school years growing together. They forgot my wedding stories as well because that was also generations. Sims 3 pets. Sims 4 cats and dogs, my first pet stuff, cottage living and now teasing horses. <laughs> I complained about this in a recent video on my channel. I do think the Sims 4 pack system is extremely cash grabby and disjointed. I don't care if you want to gaslight yourselves into saying how much you love all these different packs. It's an absolute nightmare. The Sims 4 in its entirety is worth over 1,000 US dollars. How could a single video game cost over 1,000 US dollars? It's ridiculous. You all call me the hater of the Sims 4. I'm not a hater. You just can't gaslight me into thinking this meme is okay because it's not okay. My teen Sim had a bad day at school, came home and painted this, oh dear. I also love- <laughs> I love how it's still probably daytime, as you can tell by the lighting. And the teen is just like hidden under the covers with a yellow plum bob. <laughs> they must have had an absolutely awful day considering, you know, I, I feel like an image can tell a million words, whatever that saying is. And I feel like this image does. It's the most like emo teen thing I think I've ever seen. Those damn teens with their long showers. Oh, again with the teens. You see, in this economy, paying that much for your bills seems rather realistic to me. <laughs> I mean, I hate to make this video a little bit political, but The Sims is a life simulation game. It's supposed to represent real life. This is what real people are facing with their gas bills right now, so <laughs> they're not wrong. What's the point of choosing a type of guest outfit if that's what comes to my weddings? <laughs> I love how you've got like the perfect Alpha CC sim and the tiara as well. And then you've just got this. You see, for me, I have never, ever, ever played my wedding stories and have the game work before. Like they really bigged up this thing of planning your wedding and planning all the outfits and you can customize them and even the colors of all your guests. And then they turn up like this. I have honestly never, ever, I swear to God, I've done so many Let's Plays of my wedding stories and I've never, ever had it work where they all wear the outfit that they're supposed to wear. I even had it once where guests wore the same outfit as the bride. I wonder if they will ever fix my wedding stories. I mean, probably not. <laughs> they still haven't fixed the base game yet, nine years on, but there we go. Wishful thinking. After days of trying, I finally managed to turn my monarchs into statues. See, this isn't a funny meme, it's not, but it's pretty cool if somebody's modded a statue of their sims in the game. See, so many simmers have begged ever since The Sims 2, really, for like a monarchs pack. I honestly don't know why they haven't given it to us yet, because they've given us all of the other WoW Love Pack things that Simmers want, they haven't given us anything to do with Monarchs yet. And it literally doesn't make any sense because everybody wants it. And they could implement so many cool features like this, like being able to make a statue of your Sim. I think it would be very much reminiscent of The Sims Medieval as well, which is something that everybody loves. It is one of the most loved Sim spin-off games. In fact, probably the most loved one ever. It wouldn't have to be old fashioned and medieval. They could do a modern Monarchs pack. We already have a couple of British worlds in the game, but they could do another British world with the British Royal Tea. Or they could do, there's a royal family of Denmark. There's so many ways they could go about it. I would love royal gameplay. I feel like it should be a game pack, not an expansion pack if they do it. But I think it would be a really fun thing that a lot of simmers would enjoy because right now so many simmers want it, but they can only do it with mods. And obviously that's not accessible to console players and the mods aren't up to scratch to, you know, big standards. So I really, really hope that one day we get a Monarchs pack, but we just have to wait and see. Console, no mods. Every time I summon Bonehilda, no matter what household it says she's in the guild, 
world of gamers, how did this happen? Lol, sometimes I see her interacting with townies when I go out too. You see, this is just another reason to fall in love with Bone Hilda. For such an insignificant NPC in The Sims 4 chucked into the paranormal stuff pack, she has a lot of depth to her. A lot of depth that even EA probably don't know themselves. Absolutely love that for you, Bone Hilda. Of course you're a gamer. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. And if it's on console, that means it's canon because it can't be caused by mods. D-A-E. What does D-A-E mean? Every single new game, the gnomes tradition has to go. You see, do you know what? I can't stand that national lottery tradition. In fact, all of them, apart from Christmas and the Easter one, they don't even have the Halloween one on there. You have to set that one up manually. Oh, and New Year's as well. I like that one. All of these other traditions. And the worst thing is when you cancel it and it says your sim has had an awful holiday. And if you have like six sims in a household, it will come for every single one of them. And they all have a negative mootlet. It really is the most frustrating thing about the holiday traditions. I wish there was a way it was a bit more seamless. And yes, the gnomes do just stress me a bit. I can't believe this. Okay, notifications. Let's go in time order. What a beautiful ceremony. Penny is exchanging vows with Victoria. Lovely. They're getting married. Victoria and Penny are both having their first kiss. Are there still people with that old fashioned mindset of not having your first kiss until you're married? That seems a bit dramatic to me in this day and age. Next, Penny Pizzazz is dying from laughter. <laughs> it must have been the worst first kiss in the entire world. <laughs> I mean, I've laughed after a kiss before if I bash teeth with somebody or something like it does happen every now and then. But I wonder what must have happened. Like what kind of kiss must this have been? I can't think of a situation where this could happen in The Sims 4. I love how there's a grilled cheese in the bottom left of this image as well, making it even more cursed. Well, at least it's a wedding ceremony that you will remember. I found out a sim could be hysterical today. Oh my God, no way. Is that really a thing? On the subject of laughing, can you really be hysterical? Okay, according to The Sims Wiki, a sim with a 15 plus playful mootlet, including boost from the happy emotion, will become hysterical. When a sim is in a state of hysteria, if they continue doing funny actions, they can die of laughter. This can be avoided by calming down in the mirror. So in that previous meme, that sim must have been hysterical in a state of hysteria. <laughs> something must have been funny about that first kiss and we're never going to know. Well, you learn something new every day. My toddler wears her sunglasses at night in dreams of politics. <laughs> And again, as you can see, it's got a console thing there. So this has to be canon because it's console. No mods installed. You see, one thing that does really frustrate me about The Sims 4 when you're making a sim in castle, whenever you put them in sleepwear, slimwear, they always wear sunglasses. Always. They're always randomly generated or they always like randomly generate piercings or something, but only for like the sleepwear outfit. And it's like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that to yourself? Maybe it's because we don't have sleep masks yet in The Sims 4. So there was no other way. Maybe they just have sensitive eyes. Either way, I do find it very frustrating when I make a sim in cast and I realize they've got random piercings or random sunglasses or random jewelry or something when they're in their sleepwear. Although I feel like it's becoming an integral funny part of The Sims 4. Kind of like washing dishes in the sink, like it's gotta happen having sunglasses on the sleepwear. Although the politics, not sure how I feel about that. I don't want children, but if I did have a child and they were into politics, like I would have an issue with it. Does that make me a bad parent? Maybe that is why I should never have children. So my neighbor came over to yell at my sim for being loud. My sim implied her mother was a llama and she literally dropped dead. The neighbor was a young, otherwise healthy adult sim. What in the world? See, maybe it's another hysterical thing because applying your mother. Oh no, it's not a joke, is it? I love how there's a sim's hand in the bottom left as well, offering food. Like what is going on? There's already an urn over here as well. See, these situations, I think what's going on? What are you guys doing in your games to make all this funny stuff happen? Like what are you doing? Something is seriously wrong with the way you all play the sims. You're all at Absolute psychopaths. <laughs> I just saw this family of four living in a one bedroom hell. See, this is why you need to turn story progression off. What EA does is they add these random things as free updates every now and then. Free story progression update. And then they just abandon the project and they don't bother to deal with all the bugs and glitches that happen as a result. And you see weird things like this. See what I always find, I don't know if anybody else has found this, but I find if you have story progression enabled, sometimes there'll be a toddler, just a random toddler living by themselves. Or there will be just like a house and there will only be animals in the house, but like no other actual sims. And it's so strange. I love how in this one as well, this left sim townie here, she is a townie from the Get Famous pack. She, I think she's supposed to be like a five star celebrity and she's living in a little one bedroom cheap house in the high school years world. So not sure what happened there. Another thing that happens all the time with this is sims are constantly adopting children. Like why are they all adopting children out of nowhere? Something weird is going on with the sims for AI and I don't know what's going on, but they need to sort out the story progression 
expression thing. Be honest, is this living room ugly? I am a brutally honest person and I will be honest with you, it is ugly. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The color scheme is all right. You've got the color clashing thing going on. You've got the yellow and the purple. It's just ugly. I don't get it. You've got a gothic chair here. You've got modern sofa here. Not sure what's going on. But by the way, guys, on a slightly related note, when you're designing your Sims houses and you're coloring everything, search for color wheel and you basically have to do furniture as opposite. So if you've got red stuff in a room, use green stuff as well. If you've got cyan stuff in your Sims room, put a couple of orange things in there too. Another thing to do is a trio. So you could do red, blue and green, purple, blue and yellow in like a triangle or this yellow plus blue, lighter blue and purple. Like experimenting with opposites on the color wheel, honestly can't recommend it enough when you're doing interior design in Sims 4 or in real life. My Sims aren't died during the ceremony and this sentiment had to be the funniest thing I've ever seen. You died at my wedding. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I mean, sentiments don't really have an impact on gameplay, but still, it's quite a funny thing to happen. I do find it funny when you're playing The Sims 4 and all of these just like random sentiments or things pop up like you didn't know they existed before, but you do now. I'm sure there are so many things about The Sims 4 that literally nobody knows about that people are still discovering today. I do think it's funny. Shrinking the dollhouse is my new favorite thing to do 100% usable still. Oh my God, it's actually still usable. I didn't know that. Okay. I have to try this one to see if it actually works. Oh, I just opened this household to find a rather creepy looking dog. That looks a bit like Dobby. Not sure. See, this is what I'm going on about with the weird story progression and random things like that happening. Anyway, I'm just going to chuck a size down dollhouse, make it two by two tiles here. See, I wonder if the girl can play with it properly. I thought like it was just an aesthetic thing, like you couldn't actually make it work. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can actually make it work and it looks real. Like it looks believable because the Sims, when they they play with these. They don't actually play with the dollhouse itself. They just take dolls out and don't actually play with the house. So I guess it doesn't matter like what size it is. What if I made it like super tiny, like super duper tiny? Could you still play with it then? Is she going to play with it? Oh my God, she's actually playing with it. And she's even still like getting quite up close to it. That is actually pretty cool. And it looks realistic. Like it looks normal. You wouldn't know any different. Absolutely love. This wasn't supposed to be a life hack video, but that is a great hack. Santa Claus on his day off, dressed as Darth Vader. You see, Clement Frost, all of these townies, Bone Hilda, Mr. Clement, Santa Claus, they all have these weird secret lives going on that we don't know about when we're not looking. Maybe the AI is conscious. We never know. Maybe he's just a big Star Wars fan. Maybe he loved Journey to Batu. You've heard of Sims washing the dishes in the bathroom sink, but have you heard of them cooking on the bathroom counters? You see, this has never happened to me. I feel like it only happens in certain like custom builds where the path isn't tested properly. I'm not lucky enough to experience this, but I hope one day Day I do. My sim won't stop brutally dancing on her own. What does this even mean? And why does she keep doing it? Is this the new alien boyfriend? What is brutally dancing? Oh my God, in the bottom left, it actually says brutally dance. No way you can do that. Oh, there's the alien boyfriend over here. You can brutally dance in The Sims 4. I don't know about this one. Maybe it's if you're playing like heavy metal music. I'm not too sure. Somebody let me know if you know how sims can brutally dance because that's actually hilarious. Why have my sims property values dropped dramatically? That is is very cheap. Like again, I don't want to make this video political. Is this a representation, a dramatic metaphor of today's current housing crisis? I think it is. My sim had twins and one of them came out looking like this when I aged them up. What a beautiful child, a face only a mother could love. Although you can't see her face, but her face does look very, very straight in this top image here. She's probably not very pleased about having Chucky as a child. I'm, I'm sure the entire family will be dead soon. <laughs> Only time will tell. They showed up after the toilet fire was out and just humped the lamp. Well, that's what happens when you invite firefighters over to do anything. They are absolutely useless, just as my Wi-Fi is, which is why it's buffering. Although I love how we got the servo robot not doing anything. I'm sure servos are technically able to deal with it. Oh, and we've got a sim clipping through the wall and standing, <laughs> just standing in the lampshade whilst they're half singed. There's another sim. Oh my God, there's another sim here that's just having a little nap on the sofa. <laughs> There is literally so much going on in this image. <laughs> at some point over at the start too, this butler's just walking through, casually picking up trash as you do. Honestly, this is a hilarious video. I absolutely love this one. My Sim rode her bike to the hospital to give birth. See, what I find really funny about Sims 4 AI when they finally gave us bicycles is Sims will like use a bicycle every single time they can walk somewhere. So it's like they arrive automatically at a community lot and then they're just like cycle to the entrance. The 
funniest thing is if there's like multi-level stairs and they're like walk up the stairs cycle like two meters put the bike away walk up the next set of stairs cycle the next bit down like it's absolutely hilarious another dumb sims 4 ai thing that i just don't want them to remove because it's just so funny i love reacting to sims 4 memes if you haven't checked out my previous sims 4 meme reactions you might want to check out one of these two videos here otherwise thank you for watching see you in the next one